So the Skyzen Cobra X has the head tracking feature and in this video I'll show you guys how you can use that. So firstly what you'll need is uh, you'll have to use the head tracking cable that you got with your Cobra X goggles which you'll have to connect to your transmitter and for that your radio transmitter should have a DSC port or a trainer port to which you can connect the head tracking cable. And your radio transmitter should have the option to accept PPM input uh, from the auxiliary channel. So that's one thing that you'll have to make sure. So I'll power up my goggles first and I'll use a USB type C cable for now. And I'll also connect the head tracker cable to the head tracking output port. So I have the head tracking cable connected. And I'll connect the other end of the head tracking cable to my radio transmitter's DSC port. So after connecting the goggles and the transmitter to each other, you'll have to place your goggles on a flat surface. So I'll use the box to place the goggles. And now I'll power up my goggles. So once you turn on your goggles, you'll have to go to the head tracking settings. So go to your settings and the first option you'll see is head tracking. Click on that and you'll have to turn on the head tracker. So and then you have options to select the PPM channels. So you can select which channel you want to use the gimbals or the servos to pan and tilt so you can select channel 5 and 6 5 7 5 8 or or whichever options you want to select I have selected channel 7 and 8 then you can change the degree of the pan and tilt so you have 90 degrees 120 and 180 I'm going to select it at 90 degrees then you can select the same for tilt settings so the tilt range is at 60 degrees 120 and 90 so I'm going to select 60 and you also have the option to adjust the pan correction or or think of it as a trim settings in the goggle itself so if you want to align the pan or the tilt to a certain angle you can make changes from here so I've set this to minus 20 and here you can reverse the direction of the pan and tilt. So if you move the goggles on the right and if the servo moves to the left for the pan then you can select tilt and pan to reverse the direction. If you are only using tilt select this option. If you are only using pan you can select this and if the direction of the servo is proper then you can select normal. So that's how you set up the head tracking in the goggles and to set up your radio you'll have to go to your trainer settings. So I'm using the Flysky TH9X which I just got and I will be making a few videos on this later on. So in this radio all I have to do is just enable the aux channels in the trainer settings. So I'll go to the trainer option and I'll enable aux for both the channels. So because this is a 9 channel radio transmitter, you can see that the auxiliary channels are on channel 7 and 8 and I've set my goggles to channel 7 and 8 as well. So that's why I don't have to go to the program mix function to, to set up the goggles with the radio transmitter. However, if you want to use the channel 5 and 6, then you can go to your program mix and enable the mix option and and set your master channels to auxiliary channels and your slave channel to channel 5 and 6 so that way you can set up your servos to channel 5 and 6 and you can see that if I move my FPV goggles 
the values for the auxiliary channels in my radio transmitter are also moving and over here I have the pan and tilt setup for my FPV camera so this is the tilt servo and that's the pan servo and I have it connected to my flysky receiver so the servo cables are connected to my channel 7 and 8 on the receiver if I selected channel 5 and 6 in my FPV goggles then I would plug the servo cables to channel 5 and 6 and I would also have to enable the program mix in my radio transmitter but I'm using channel 7 and 8 to keep things as simple as possible and that way I can use the other channels so once everything is set up I'll just show you guys how it works so I'll turn on my goggles so you must have heard the beep and and that's the gyro calibration beep that you hear So now if I move the goggles, you can see that the pan and tilt servos are moving and if I hold the settings button for a few seconds, it will reset the position and I'll show what happens if you adjust the pan and tilt correction. So just keep a watch on the gimbals. So I'll adjust the pan correction. You can see that the pan servo moves by every degree so that way you can adjust the position of the servo and similarly you can do the same for tilt if i reverse the direction you can see that the servo moves in the opposite direction So if you plan to use the head tracking feature, uh, when you first power on your goggles, you'll have to place the goggles on a flat surface so that the gyro calibration can be set up properly. So that's how you set up the head tracking feature in the Cobra X and even in the Cobra S or any other Skyzone goggles that you have. And it also applies to any other goggle which has the head tracking feature built in. In case if you're not comfortable using the head tracker feature, you can control the pan and tilt servos from the radio by using the knobs or switches so you'll have to assign the channels for the pan and tilt servo and then you can control it from your radio directly so that's about it that's all i had to share in this video if you found this video helpful make sure to like it and if you're new to my channel consider to subscribe and if you have any questions you can comment them so thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for my next videos